Well, it's been seven days since a massive fight at a Spring Valley High School football game. And tonight, that team took on Richland Northeast at their home game under the watchful eye of RCSD deputies and school resource officers. But Richland School District 2 says the increase of these deputies is part of the new normal brought by last week's brawl. Now, all athletic events under R2 will look something like this under the blanket of these rules. R2 students must have a ticket and student ID to enter any field. Otherwise, anyone under 18 must have a parent or guardian accompany them. And once inside, no one is allowed to stand around the concession area, which will close at the end of third quarter. And no matter what, no one will be allowed entry after halftime. And we're here to support Spring Valley. Yes. Lewis Mack III was at last week's game and hopes to be at many more to come. You, you can't let like one incident like that stop you from coming out to have fun and representing your team. Yeah, I can't even get in because I don't have my ID. And I don't have a dad either, so can't get in. Elijah Berry wasn't at last week's game, calls R2's response an overreaction. It was just a trash can bang. It was really just a trash can bang. They over-exaggerated. All these cops here, over-exaggerated. Now, our two superintendent, Dr. Baron Davis, was in attendance at tonight's game. We wanted to talk to him about the new measures, but his director of communications said he wouldn't be taking any questions tonight. Reporting from Columbia, Andrew Fancher, WYS News 10.